Hello, and thank you so much for joining me. My name is Mademoiselle Lena, and you can find me online at www.conjurenits.com. Today is Saturday, October the 3rd, and we are here to do our daily tarot reading. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We are going to start with Sawyer's Path Tarot as our vocal card. So, let's see. Okay, Spirit, what do you have for today? Saturday, October 3rd, Spirit. Saturday, October 3rd. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so and click the little bell so that you'll receive notifications of when I go live or upload new videos. I am quite active here on my channel, so there's lots to see, lots to see. I also, I'm doing, um, what all do I do? I do the monthly zodiac readings. I do the weekly forecast on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I do free mini readings for one hour. On Thursdays, I do, I am a co-host of Conjure Crew. That is also at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, and about once a month, I, um, well, I'm not the host, but we do have tarot and tea about once a month. So it is pretty active here on the channel. Lots of interesting and very informative stuff that, um, you'll want to view and participate in. And be sure to share my videos with your friends as well, because I want to be able to help as many people as possible. So, let's go ahead and see what Spirit has for today, October the 3rd. Today is Saturday. Okay. And we have the Nine of Cups. Wow, beautiful card, beautiful card, very, very happy card, joyful. It's like you're sitting there and you just got this big shit eating grin on your face and it's just like your whole world is the cream of the crop. I mean, everything seems to be going good for you. You're happy, you're joyful. Things are just amazing. Things are finally looking up. This is wonderful. I love it when we start with a beautiful and happy card like this. Um, let me go ahead and see what animal spirit we have for today. Um, we're going to be using Sawyer's Nature Portals. And while I'm getting these out, I did want to say that I do um, try to do the daily tarot spread every day. However, at this time, I'm in the middle of moving, so if I skip a day, please just understand life. You know, we do have lives, so. But I do appreciate you hanging out with me. And I do, and I really appreciate you subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. It really helps me out a lot. So thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, spirit. What animal spirit do we have walking with us today? What animal spirit do we have? 
What medicine do we have available? Okay, just do a couple more times here. All right, spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. One more time, one more time. It kind of little caught a little bit there. I just don't feel right about that one. So let's do one more. And there we go. So our animal spirit for today is the billy goat. This is very interesting. The billy goats are able to, um, well, especially like mountain goats, they're really able to climb um, in, in places that most people wouldn't be able to reach. Um, they, they, you know, live in the mountains, they graze off the grass that is readily available to them there. They're able to climb up the rocky hillsides. Here you've got one climbing up on a ladder to stand on a roof. I mean, they're, they're, and they're hard-headed as hell too, not gonna lie. They can be very stubborn, but they get to the top. They get to where they're going. And this is probably what caused this happiness and, and joyfulness that you see here. Because this person is like, yes. Almost like I picture him. You remember the story about the emperor um, that had no clothes? He just was like, just kind of pompous and walking around and, oh, I got this. And I'm so happy and joyful. And my life is going great. I made it to the top. I'm so happy. This is kind of what this is reminding me of so far. But let's go ahead and keep going. We're going to use our Angels and Ancestors Oracle Cards by Kyle Gray. Oh, that does, um, I did see a thing this morning that was posted. Um, um, Kyle has tested positive for the coronavirus, so please keep him in your prayers. You can light a healing candle, but keep him in your prayers. He's doing well as of now. He does have some symptoms, but he's staying pretty positive about things. So let's just keep sending him healing and well wishes. Okay, Spirit. What do we have from our angels and ancestors? Angels and ancestors, Spirit. Angels and ancestors. Saturday, October the 3rd. Saturday, October. All right. And we have the Shield Maiden. Make plans and focus. Yes, yes, yes. All tying in together in order to... And, and it's almost like we're going backwards here. You think about it. Because you make your plans, you focus on your goal, you climb your way all the way to the top so that you can experience this total bliss that we have going on here. This is amazing. I just love, and I know I say this all the time, but I really do just love the way the theme, even though each card is from a different deck, the theme just flows together. It's, yes. Ah, okay. We also, since we drew this card and we were speaking about Kyle, um, asked that, that, you know, his angels surround him and shield him because this is called the Shield Maiden. So let's, let's make sure we do that. Send, send lots of love and healing. He, he's, you know, very big into, in the community and in helping people out. He's, a, he's an amazing person, so we want to wish him nothing but the best. Okay, so now we're going to be using the Fairies Oracle by Brian Froud. So let's see what the fairies have for us today. Okay, fairy. Is it okay, fairies? Saturday, October the 3rd, fairies. What do you have for us? What can you tell us? Okay. And we 
have the bodacious badock. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. This is someone um, that is meddling in this situation, tampering with, maybe even trying to sabotage. Hmm. But the, whoever it is, they're uninvited in the issue. It may be you, but it may be someone else. See if you can work out who it is and begin to untangle the messy web they have woven of confusion and disorder and misunderstanding. Hmm. It will take great firmness to get this person to keep his sticky fingers out of your affairs. There's always somebody trying to start some drama. Always somebody trying to start some shit here. Um, they mean well, but it's like, you know, they really do. They mean well, but they really just need to stay out of it. Whether it's you, you know, meddling in somebody else's business, they're telling you that, you know, it's probably best that you just stay out of it. If it's somebody else, then you already know. You got this. You got it handled. You can do this on your own. You you appreciate their help, but you really don't need it because, honestly, it only makes things worse. So be on the lookout for this. And if this is you, just kind of take a step back and let people grow on their own. Because sometimes people have to learn lessons in order to grow. Okay? So just keep that in mind here. And then we're going to be using our Tarot de Marseille tiles. So let's see what spirit is trying to tell us here. Okay, spirit. Tarot de Marseille, what do you have for us today? Saturday. Ah, we have the devil. Okay. Oop, there's another one. We've got two of them actually. We have the Knight of Wands. Okay, this is still flowing. This is still flowing. And our final card is the Page of Cups. Okay, so let's see here. The devil, as you know kind of goes back over here to Bodacious Badach. And it's, you know, distractions. There's a lot of distractions going on. It may be addictions. It could be all these tarot decks that I keep buying, you know, when I really need to be buying curtain rods and curtains for the new house. But anyway, so you could be distracted. It could be an addiction that's distracting you. Um, really need to okay let's keep going because I'm jumping ahead of myself because I'm looking at all the cards here before I get them all explained um, but yeah you've got a lot of distractions here going on this goes back to this guy you, you've got things that may be um, weighing you down keeping you chained uh, where you don't necessarily need to be chained whether it be spending you know drugs or 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 whatever the habit may be, you know, porn, there, people are addicted to watching porn. Um, just whatever the case may be is, is that you are not staying focused, which is what this guy is referring back to the shield maiden. Make your plans and stay focused on your plans. Well, this guy here, if you notice the Knight of Wands, his horse is pointed to go to the left, right? But him and his horse are looking at the right. And it looks like they, they're focused on, if, if this was a reading for a man, I would say he's focused on his big stick here. But whatever this stick may be sim symbolizing, you're focused on that rather than where you should be going. And I feel like in this reading, is it could be these addictions or this this thing you've got going on over here that's keeping you chained down 
You're, you're not moving in the direction you need to be going. You need to focus on what's important and not necessarily what's behind you or, or this addiction, this big stick here. Okay, it's kind of funny that I did bring up porn this time and then you know what a big old stick is, right? Okay, and so then we have the Page of Cups. And the thing you'll note, I'm going to go ahead and keep these up here. Um, the thing you'll notice about the Page of Cups is he's looking at the cup, but his eyes are just on the rim. He's not actually looking down into the cup. So he's only seeing the surface of things. So... Hmm. Let me think for just a moment. I've already got the idea that the spirit is speaking to me. I know exactly what's going on here. Okay. So what we have here is I really feel like this is your focus card. This is where you really and truly want to be in order to, um, Look at me, I'm already getting distracted and shit too. Okay, in order to get to this point, let's go backwards here, okay? In order to get to this point, because this is your, your final goal, you want to be happy, you want to be just in total bliss, gleeful, you know, just, just a feeling of everything in the world is going right for you. You're gonna have, there's gonna be a battle you're really going to have to climb up some rocky, um, steep things to get to where you want to go. And it's going to be, uh, what's the word, tumultuous. And, and it's not going to be easy. It's really not. It's going to be a tough climb for you, but you can do it. You're, you know, you're stubborn enough. You can do it. In order to do, to make that climb though, you're going to have to make a plan and focus. You're going to have to stay focused because either it's you or there's, it could be somebody else that's trying to help you, but, but by trying to help you, they hinder you. It could be yourself. It could be addictions that's holding you back. It could be you looking back in the past instead of going forward the way you need to go. Your focus is not where it needs to be. You're only seeing things on the surface. It's like you know you want to do something, but eh, maybe in a minute. I'm going to watch this movie on Netflix first. I'll get to it later. It's not like I don't have a million things to do to get to where I need to be. Um, but I'll do it in, in a little bit. I know I'm going to get it done. Everything's cool. Those are bullshit excuses. Stay focused. I really feel like the main message for today is stay focused on your goal. You can do it. You can make it. You can get exactly right here. You, you, your, your whole life is, it, it's like the cream has risen to the top. It's perfect. You're so happy. So just overjoyed with life itself. But you're going to have to work. You're going to have to focus and you're going to have to work to get there. People do mean well. So going back to the reading the other day, don't necessarily lash out and, 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 you know, tear on my new ass. Um, because you can lose friendships that way. So kind of, you know, if it is someone else that's trying to butt in and you don't really need their help, be gentle with them. Kindly tell them, I really appreciate your opinion, but I already have a plan. I'm going to stick to my plan. Um, and do that. Stick to the plan. Don't get distracted by all this other stuff here. I really, really want to see you in this place. And I really want you to comment below and let me know about your journey. Let me know when you get to this place. Tell me, you know, share with me your struggles even. I, you know, I'm here for you. I'm, I'm, I want to listen to you. I, I want to help you in any way at all possible. Um, if this reading has resonated with you and you would like a more personal and in-depth reading, please go over to my website at www.conjurenits.com to book a reading. Um, I hope you all have a very, well, prosperous 
and prosperity does mean more than just money, you know. A very happy and joyful day. Lovey bunches. To find out more about Mademoiselle Lena or to book a reading, please visit us online at www.conjurenits.com. That is C O N J U R E K N I T S dot com. <laughs>